Well, hello, Internet Strangers. We're back again today, and we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be reading a little article I found online. And with that being said, let's get right into it. So we're starting off with quite the headline over here. Single mom is homeless after moving to Houston to become a TikTok influencer. First of all, don't do that under no circumstances should you ever by the way she also quit her job she didn't just like i, I read a little bit right i read a little bit ahead she quit her job she's a mother of three and she decided to move to houston to follow the TikTok influencer dream now this is bad for a couple of reasons but let's read the article and i'll give you guys my opinion as i go along it starts with Kiara Jones had a dream of becoming a successful TikTok influencer when she moved with her children from Tallahassee, Florida to Houston, Texas. Jones moved to Houston with her son at the start of the new year, but instead of becoming an influencer, she is now homeless. She moved into a motel, so she didn't even move there. She didn't find an apartment. She didn't get a uh, first month deposit and last month deposit. She decided to move into a motel with her three children with no job. Jones told KH0U11 News that her goal was to become an influencer to support her three sons. Houston has one of the biggest populations of social influencers, Jones told. That's kind of a goal to become a big influencer. I agree that Houston, California, these places have a huge uh, population of influencers. Here's the thing, your uh, location will not really affect you on how many influencers and how much following you get. Obviously, there's exceptions to this rule. But if you're living in the US or Canada, you don't really need to go live in a big city depending on what your content is is if you're doing lifestyle content and you want to show the place that you're living in and the people you're hanging out with yes location does matter but if you take I, myself for example i'm doing gaming content i could be living in alaska if i've good if i've got good wi-fi the place i'm living in doesn't really matter at all jones said that the family moved into the motel but she ran out of money and they were kicked out on the street with nowhere to go and the temperatures plummeting, Jones called 911. Police officers took them to a warming shelter on the last night of the shelter would be open. I did not know that they were closing down tomorrow, Jones said. That was definitely a lot to hear. Jones said that she was trying to figure out how to get back to Florida. YouTube commenters wondered why she didn't ask for help from the children's father. Before we get into that, just let me give my tidbit of information. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my YouTube channel. I'll do a little quick thing over here. All right, so here's my uh, content page. And as you guys can see, I have, let, how many pages do I have? I've got two pages worth of videos. How many videos do I have? I don't even know how many I have. I have like, un I have under 100 videos on my channel. And I've been doing this for a couple of months. Uh, it goes all, do I have dates here? I do not have dates, but regardless, as you can see, I have videos at 80 views, 100 views, 1,000. Um, I have some that I've done quite well. Let's look at the first page back. Uh, almost 2,000 over here, 1,007 over there, 4,000 over here, 84 over there, 90 over here. My latest video is at 16. <laughs> uh, my uh, viewership and like and comment ratio is kind of all over the place. I've made a total of zero dollars from doing this for a couple of months now. You wanna know what I haven't done? I have not quit my job. I found a little bit of success here and there on YouTube. Not once did I even think that quitting my job was in the cards at the time. I don't even know if it's gonna be in the cards within the next two, three, four, five years, right? because I'm pushing towards making making a profit off of YouTube eventually, that'd be fantastic. Under no way, shape or form am I ever gonna put my, my livelihood and my fiance at risk. I have one responsibility right now, which is myself. I am engaged, but we're not married. So legally speaking, she's not my responsibility as of right now. Never in my wildest dreams do I think that it'd be okay for me to quit my job to start pursuing YouTube. And I don't even have kids at the moment. Just it's insane to me that this person thought it was a good idea. Like, hey, I don't have any backup plan. I don't have a net with me. I'm just going to quit my job, 
take my three kids with me, move to Houston without a plan, and hope for the best. Social media, wait, so you move to a social media influencer. Don't people do that from home and don't reveal where they live? That's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. She wants to be an influencer, people to do what? I agree, I 100% agree with this. It's one of the dumbest things you could possibly do. I'm doing this from a uh, my room in my home. I don't live in the US, I live in Canada. I am nowhere near Houston or California, six hour flights, not that far. But like I'm still finding small amounts of success on the daily just because I'm being consistent. It has nothing to do with your location. It all has to do with what are you putting out there and how consistent you're being. Another person wrote, come to Houston with a dream and no plan. That's a recipe for disaster. A third person wrote, get a job and support your children and stop expecting other people to support you and your kids. I will say that social media and YouTube content and streaming are real jobs, however, you need to start making money before you can start supporting anybody, which is why, again, I have not quit my job and I will not be quitting my job anytime soon for that matter, because I'm not making any money. And even when I start making money, I'll still keep that job until I have like a one year emergency fund in case things don't go to plan. I would never just quit and like, I'm gonna go social media full time in the hopes of, of blowing up overnight. You have three kids. Why would you do this? I've been posting videos since December, December, January, February, March. I've been doing this for four months now. I'm not even eligible for monetization. What made you think this was a good idea? We're gonna watch a little, little clip over here of uh, the interview out in Harris County tonight, giving shelter to those who couldn't find a warm place to sleep. Get somewhere safe and warm for the night until I'm able to figure out at least how to get home. Kiara Jones came to Houston from Tallahassee at the start of the new year, chasing after a dream. This is like one of the biggest populations of the uh, social media influencers. That's kind of my goal to become a big influencer. She'd been staying in a motel this month with her three little munchkins. Three little hungry <laughs> munchkins. Like I bet you, I bet you, I bet you they'd be hungry real soon. I love them. That's so sweet. But by Monday, she says she'd run out of money. It just became too much for me after a while. With temperatures dropping and no place to go, she says she called 911. Police brought her and her kids here. I'm gonna say something that I'm gonna be a little controversial. You should take the kids away. Her kids, she should not be left in charge of her children. Um, she made an incredibly selfish, irresponsible decision for her kids. Could you imagine being homeless and being a child? Being homeless and being an adult sucks already. Being homeless and being a child, probably worse. I wish the best for her kids. However, I don't think that they're safe in her guardianship and I hope that they are taken care of in the future. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of the video. I know it's not what we regularly do, but hey, every once in a while, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different just so we can get a bit of a mix. Let me know how you feel about that in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, be sure to like, share, uh, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. And before you head out, I am trying to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year, something I literally can't do without you guys. And if you don't wanna help, well remember, at the end of the day, I'm just some guy on the internet, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.